Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a while, but this is my video entry for the 2018 Nick Singapore Face Awards. So for this look, I was inspired by the colors gold and black. Currently, I don't technically have a name for it yet, but I've just asked on my Instagram on what you guys think I should call it. So once I've decided, I will put it up as my YouTube name for this look. But yeah, so if you want to know how I created this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because I love hearing from you guys. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead by priming with the Maybelline Master Prime. And now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 300. Just buffing that into my skin and also going another layer over my acne just for extra coverage. And not forgetting my neck as well. Now I'm going to go ahead with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium Dark 32. Just highlighting the high points of my face and once again going over my acne areas. And now I'm going to hydrate with the MAC Fix Plus and also some lip balm from Olive SG. Now I'm going to start by baking my skin with some lactocalamine powder underneath my eyes, my jawline, my nose, forehead and chin. Just going to put a thick layer over. Baking my under eyes is going to help me prevent any pigments from falling onto my foundation. So now to get a super sexy, smoky cat eye look for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be putting some washi tape along my waterline towards my brow bone as a guideline for me. Moving on, I'm going to be using the Tarte Lip Palette and I'm going to go in the crease line with the shade Wanderer, just using a fluffy brush and buffing that right into my crease line, creating a very beautiful gradient effect. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Dreamer and just deepening the crease area and just focusing on creating a very intense cat-eyed effect. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush and go in with the shade Fashion Nista, which is basically a black matte shadow and further enhancing and deepening the crease line. I'm going to take the fluffy brush that I used before and just fluff it out and remove the washi tape now and yes honey! Now I'm going to go back in with the shade Dreamer and just run that along the bottom lash line. And now back in with the shade Fashionista as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy White Wet my brush and use that all across my lids. Look how amazing that is, guys. Yes! I'm gonna go in with like a couple of layers just to make sure the color is very intense. Now back in with the shape Fashionista just to blend everything out perfectly. Now I'm going to use a super puffy brush and just dust off all the bake. Now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette and use the shades New Wave and Edge to contour my face to give my face a yellow golden highlight. Just going to go right into my cheekbones and across my forehead and also a little bit on my jawline. Also, I'm also going to be doing the same thing to my neck and just contouring it a little bit with those two shades as well. Now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette and use the shade Calavera and go over the contour just for more intensity and depth. Now I'll be using the shade Somber and Shadow Play from the Kat Von D shade and Light Contour Palette to further deepen and intensify my contour. Now I'm going to move on and use the NYX White Liquid Liner to draw the little details on my face. So basically I'm just drawing like little squiggly lines that kind of look like branches um, all over my uh, cheeks and later on onto the, onto the top of my forehead. So 
So this is what it looks like. And now I'm gonna further go in with the shade Fashionista from the Charlotte palette just to give a very, very intense, smoked out look. Now I'm gonna go back in with the white liquid liner and just add a little bit more details. Just following the same squiggly pattern and shape until I'm satisfied. And now I'm gonna use the LA Colors Black Smudge Proof Liquid Liner and just continue drawing those um, same branch-like details all over. And I'm also gonna add freckles on my nose that's going right out into my uh, contour area. Just gonna scatter dots all over my nose and I'm gonna go in back with the white liquid liner also adding freckles. Focusing on the tip of my nose more. I'm also going to be adding dots onto the edges of the little branch like things that I've drawn. And I'm also going to be using the Sephora Collection Fingertip Eyeliner in the shade Metallic Gold and just going over all my freckles and dots with it as well. Just going to create that dot pattern all over, all the way up to my forehead, just making sure everything is in cohesion. And I'm going to fill up the top of my forehead with dots. Now I'm going to go back in with the shade Fashionista just to smoke out my eyeshadow a little bit more. And I'm going to be using the LA Colors Eyeliner to create a very sexy cat-eyed liner. And now back in again with Fashionista, just smoke everything out, make sure everything is blended. Now I'm going to be using the shades Force of Nature and Wanderer and just going over my bottom lash line and my crease area too. Now I'll be taking the shade Dreamer and popping that right into my inner corner but I'm going to drag it out a little bit down onto my nose and along my brow bone area just to give a very intense look in my eye area. Just going to softly blend it all out to create a very intense shadow and I'm also not forgetting the tip of my nose, the bottom of my lips and also doing a little bit of a nose contour. And I'm also going to do a little bit on the top of my lips as well. Now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Kit in the shade Crush Pearl, I'm going to pop that right into my inner corner over that dark shadow just to give light to my eyes. This contrast will create a very striking definition which is why my eyes just look like they are popping girl. And I'm also going to use that to highlight my nose and my brow bone and also my um, cheekbones. I'm doing this with an eyeshadow brush for extra precision. You can use a fluffy brush if you want to, but I just prefer to use an eyeshadow brush so that I can just create a very intense highlighted look. Now I'm gonna go back in with Trophy Wife and just go over all the highlighted areas just to add a lovely golden sheen to my look. Moving on, I'll be using the Ardell Studio Effects Lashes. Just gonna pop those right in, 
through a va va voom effect. Oh yes, honey. And I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just to make sure my lashes all look poppin'. Just gonna go a few coats over my top lash line and also my bottom lashes. Now I'm picking the NYX White Liquid Liner. This is one of my favorite things to do and just add a little bit onto my eyebrows just to create a more graphic effect. Now I'll be taking these little golden sequins and just sticking it all over my face. Ooh, look at that, honey. Now it's time for the lips. I'll be using the Australis Bella Lips in Melbourne, which is this black matte shade and just coating my lips with it. I'll be going in back in with Trophy Wife and just putting a little bit on the center of my lips just for, to get a highlighted look. And I'm gonna do like a little ombre effect with it looking more intense um, towards the inside of my lips and just softly gritting it out onto the outside of my lips. Now I'm gonna finish that off with some MAC Fix Plus. So now we're gonna move on to the neck. So I'm gonna go back in with Fashionista to contour my neck. And I'm also going to take Trophy Wife and just go over the contour and just give my whole neck and shoulders a very beautiful golden sheen. Just popping that in everywhere. And I'm now going to scatter those same golden little crystals all over my neck to create a encrusted bejeweled look. That is it you guys. That is how I created this look. I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know what you think. Please subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Um, I don't know if I'll get into the top 15, but um, even if I don't, I really enjoy doing this look. Um, it's one of my passions anyway. So thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to create more content for you guys. So bye. <laughs>